Greetings everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host Mr. Mokalover and we are currently at war with Spain. Why Spain? We've got some comms to go through though, but uh, Spain because, first of all, they have no allies. And they just became communist. So I don't think anyone really wants to help communist Spain, so I figured, you know what? Why not? We'll call them the Portuguese and they can be the punching bag. So we want to go to war with Spain. Well, I wanted to get Spanish Equatorial Guinea or whatever? Whatever this area... Oh, they're down there. Um, probably attacking them with that army would not be very good. Let's go ahead and put some guys around here, though. Let's see. You guys are in the grasslands. But yeah, really, I want to war with these guys just because I really actually wanted to get, let's see, Spanish Alrif, but I didn't realize it was not a colony. So instead, I guess I had to take whatever colony I wanted, and it just came out to be this one. We could have taken the Philippines, or at least the Spanish Philippines. And actually, that would have been probably been better since this is quite a bit of iron, which I really kind of need, and would have given us a nice little area in Asia to take as well. But since we're here in Africa, I kind of figured that, you know what, let's take as much of Africa as we possibly can, so we'll do that one. Uh, next up, we'll go back to War of Spain later on once they still have no allies, but hopefully we'll take Spanish al Rif later on. But anyways, as long as the Portuguese are okay taking a lot of hits, that's okay with us. A couple comments. First of all, the reason why we lost the battle in Algeria last time or Morocco, actually, I think it was, kind of around here-ish. It's because we didn't have enough army techs. That's just pretty much it. We need more military science and such. So, that's something we got to get to work on. Patriotic Society. A small Afro-Latino patriotic society has reached local prominence in Santiago de Cuba, ostensibly claiming to be to simply organize Afro-Latino citizens of Tucolor Empire to benefit the local community. We suspect that the organization is, in fact, covertly arguing, supporting, aiding, and abetting the cause of Afro-Latino independence. We can shoot it down, although that would care, cause a fair amount of militancy. Leave it be. Oh, I'll just leave it be. It's fine. And we don't need that much score. Just enough. Okay, they have, like, no morale. Uh, you guys go there, then. That's fine. Cool. Now, if Portugal gets siege down, that's okay with me. Oh, there we go. There we go. Peace. I love peace. Oh, look at that. Africans, farms, and mines. Don't mind if you do. If you'd like to read about that, go right ahead. But I love farms and mines. And you know what? We still have not signed the Geneva Convention, so... I'm feeling pretty good about that. Let's go ahead and lower this because things just cost so much. So much. And I want to make sure ships are doing okay. Tariffs. We're going to keep tariffs high-ish for now. We still got to make more money. You guys come to Tangier. You guys come down to Casablanca. And then you all come on down to here because we want to fill out your army a little better. Very nice. And you guys come back to Accra. Ooh, and our ships as well. Because they can just walk across, I believe. So they don't actually need us here. Which is not too bad. Cool. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, last time we had the Great War. We'll probably have a couple more Great Wars. Yeah, we need to get more military techs, I'll be honest. Like, you guys recommended it yesterday. Why did I not click on army techs? We, <laughs> military directionism is so good because we need to get at least gas defense. We've got to get gas defense at the very least. I mean, I want gas attack, but there's so much we got to do. So much research. Wow. Madagascar is not looking good. Wow. Swedish Congo, they're in the British sphere. Actually, Germany decided to cut their lines with us, which really sucks. So, yeah. I think I allied, yeah, I allied with the states instead, which might have been a bad idea. But we did see yesterday that they did beat or, or peace out with the Brits, so they weren't doing too bad. Uh, let's see. Control Adamawa, considered, we've been taking control over this province to consider the possibility of integrating it into the Tukulur Empire as a whole. There are Tukulur flags waving in Morawa, flown by the Tukulur citizens, so it does not seem far-fetched that an idea that Adamawa would be eventually considered Tukulur territory by the world at large would begin integrating, yes. So that's why our infamy is going up even higher. With this, at the start of this literal episode, it was higher than normal just because there's another place that wanted to be integrated, so I figured, you know what, why not? This is why I can't afford to have any more, uh, or being found out, we should say, just because it costs so much. And yeah, we just, we definitely got to put that down. Uh, any more roads, actually? Any more roads for us? Not really, no. That's pretty good for us. We're doing really, really well with roads. Uh, actually, oh, Greece. Mm, I like the Greeks, man. I like the Greek dudes. Well, okay, maybe not, maybe not like that. But mm, Greeks. No, it's, it's surprising they haven't done anything yet in this campaign. Like usually they expand a little bit more, but hey, if they're like that, can I? Oh, I can't. You know what? We're gonna take them out. And if we get found out, then, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we'll deal with them that way. Oh, wait. There we go. Head on home, guys. Head on home, and you guys can stay up there. 
And you guys, come on down south, back to... Where do I want to put you? I guess we could, we could get over there. Come down to... Where do I want to put you? There's so many places we could go. There you go. Go down there. There you go. And then you guys come to... Actually... <clears throat> I hope you like the desert. Hope you like the desert. Actually, is Japan a great power yet? Japan is a shogun of J Japan. They're out of the... Well, I guess see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone, and we're back with our Cassus Belly against the good old Greeks. But right now, let's go ahead and do this. More than half our population can read already in 1903. But the Trucial Treaty. Now, among ambitions of other great powers in the area, the Trucial states are increasing, and it's time to tighten our influence on them. Under a new treaty, the Sheiks agreed not to dispose of any territory except the Tukalor Empire, and not to enter into relationships with any foreign government other than the Tukalor Empire without its consent. In return, the Tukalor Empire promised to protect the Trucial coast from all aggression by sea and help in case of land attack. This treaty, the exclusive agreement, is to be signed by the rulers of Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Ajman Ras Al Kaima and Um Al Quain. Pretty cool. And we get more prestige, we become more puppet, we get more relation, influence, and stuff like that. And the UAE gets outlawed slavery. Okay. And we get a thousand research or oh, they get a thousand research points, which is not bad. So we finally do that. Still not signing the Geneva Convention, but hey, that's just me. Oh yes, Persia. We love Persia. Thank you, Persia. And you guys, uh, love it. Like, would you like an ally? Oh, we're, we're allied. Uh, now that we're allied, good. Now I'm gonna give it one more month before we s put some guys on boats and so we can invade Greece, who currently has a communist revolt going on, but whatever. Cool. It shouldn't be too bad. We still have our armies down here. New store in, in Woodia? Mother, mother, they've opened a new store in town. The 19th century saw the development of vastly improved channels for the distribution of goods to broader groups of customers. The opening of new specialized and industrialized retailers was essential in bringing new industrial goods produced in factories to consumers. The new store in Wujda will increase the efficiency of the local farms as farmers have to spend less time to travel to and from markets. Excellent. Look at that. Great. All right. Let's go get one more month going and put you on a boat and we'll head on over. Only third in the world for prestige, fifth in the world in terms of military, which we can improve upon, and seventh in the world for industry, which is, eh, yeah, it could be better. That's alright. Only 20 infamy. At this point, we're going to give it at least one more month, and then lower our infamy below 20. Dis tensions dissipate. Great. Wow, I would hate to be Greek right now. Tensions in Brazil. Between ourselves and other powers that are up there regarding dominance over the Brazilian government, we are forced into a position where we must either assert our position, which will be seen as undercutting Brazil's independence, or back down and lose much of the influence in Brazil we currently hold. Fall back. Relation with Brazil goes up. We lose prestige. Relation with Brazil goes down. I don't want more infamy. I can't afford it. We're going to take the prestige hit, which is whatever. Discriminatory school systems. Maybe get them policy to keep them ignorant. Oh, you know what? I'm going to keep them ignorant. Now, we're doing drilling and blasting right now just because I want to build the Suez Canal. And that's this is one of the texts that we have to do to get the Suez Canal. So, All right, so it's been another month. Hopefully, no one gets involved here. For the love of God, I hope no one does. And what do we want? Do we want Central Greece or Thessaly? Now, actually, having Thessaly might not be bad. Let's look at this. They have Greek... Th that's Thessaly? No. Central Greece. Or Peloponnese. What are the islands they own? Central Greece. Ah, Corfu. I don't think Corfu is really worth it. I'll take whatever else. Yeah, that's not really worth it. Central Greece. That's going to be so ugly when we're done here. Call allies in. The U.S. doesn't want to get involved, which is fine, whatever. I kind of understand why they don't want to. Hopefully no one else comes in, though. General's dead, whatever. It is what it is. And we'll grab a second army once we're... Eh, yeah, I'll grab a second army. Why not? We'll grab you. Nice. Yeah, no one wants to help out the Greeks. But okay, sure, why not? We'll kill off a couple of these commies, too, just before anything else bad happens. So that they don't flip communists, and then we might not be able to continue our war or something like that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll go to Athens, because they're not that strong, are they? They might be. Oh, there's Greeks. Can we actually win there? They... Uh... Is that mountains? It's hills. I don't want to get involved there. Go to Athens. We're going to get drilling and blasting done, too, which is awesome. All right, guys, get on a boat and head on over. Drilling and blasting. Don't mind if we do. 
Let's see. Ooh, bolt action rifles would be so good. Better combo with more attack. Yes, I'd like that a lot. Uh, so I did recommend we get rid of that. So it's only 7,000 points. That's not too bad. Incident in Panama? Uh, I don't know about that. No. No terror cells in Panama. What are you talking about? That's, that's fake news. Real, straight up fake news. Alright, so why is it taking so long to get these guys? Small arms and beverages. Beverages? Small arms? Let's see... We actually need beverages, huh? Consumer goods? It's in high demand. Oh, they paid, paid some chippies. That's good. Nice. We have another arm here. Let's go over there. That'd be good. And we almost have the capital. Great. Blockading them is good. And it helps us siege them down a little bit faster. That just dissipate. Great. And 1903. So this should help us. Ooh, teleport factories. Should help us make these divisions a little bit faster, but I guess not, you know. Alright, so how much more do we need to get rid, of, get rid of these guys? Oh, not much more. Cool. Let's stop spending so much money then. Thank you. Thank you. I want to keep at least a little bit of spending so that I can keep a relatively okay morale. Go down to half and go down to half as well. With these high tariffs, we're doing okay anyways. I'm going to actually keep you guys here since we need at least one army here to help. You know, just put down rebellions. Uh, where's it? Oh, what's right here? Cool. Up them out. And... Boom. There you go. You can have that too. Any other projects we need? Yes. Railroads in some place. Cool. Let's see. One. They've only one more, so I'll get rid of this guy. There you go. And we need a Hussar. Which will be obsolete within the next 30 years, but then again, within the next 30 years, we'll be kind of done with the campaign, because, well, you can only go so far with uh, this, so... Give me just one moment. Tensions in Honduras. Fine, so be it. So be it. My apologies. I'm going just a little bit more. My apologies. My cat wanted to be released from my room. So here we are. Also, we have. I think it was the mass politics unlocked. So yeah, we have mass politics done, which is nice. So uh, let's take a look at that. Good. Good, 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 good. National spirits focuses. So we're trying to put guys up here, which would be nice. Over here, more bureaucrats, getting closer to done. Looking not too bad. Uruguay is 100, well, it should be 100%. Yep, it is 100%, which is good. Actually, Uruguay. You got some full ball. You got some Russian there, too. An Edo? Very multicultural down here in Uruguay. Not a lot of assimilation, but hey, you know, that's okay. At least for now. Let's see you guys do that. Is it time to get return to, these, to Colombia, or is it time to beat up... Well, it might be time to beat these guys up, too. Here I with Peru, Colombia. When's the next time we go to war with Colombia? Well, 1904. So we got another year. That's fine. Argentina, though. We can go to war with them. And I probably want to still make them our puppets, so... Let's do that. Honduras. Thank you very much. Down here. Looking not too bad. Uh, no. Got, sorry, guys. We, we kind of have some other... So, there some other ideas for you. Some other ideas. Colt, not bad. Less than 20 infamy, not bad. Consciousness is getting a little high. Uh, let's see, you guys are allied, so no. They have 61 military score, which isn't great. Peru has 11, which isn't great. Should be okay. Hey, integrated. Nice. Tessellate. Very cool. Not really worth a whole lot, but hey, whatever. Slightly more conservative support and slightly more fascist support, huh? Alright, well, whatever. <clears throat> Japan, oh, hello. Hello. Oh, maybe. That might be good. I don't know if I really want to ally with them. They're cool and all, but I don't see us doing... Oh, yeah, they're 11th. Once they reform, they'll probably get more prestige points. Hmm. They're allied with the Russians, which is very, very weird.
I can't really help them out. I have no naval base over there to really help them out with stuff, though. That, that's just my biggest thing with them. Professor, if you want to read about that, go right ahead. Control the intellectuals through legislative means. That's fine. Okay, now we're building stuff up. Nice. Very good. It's, oh, look at these. Militant socialists. Yes, that's very good. Get more militant socialists, France. Please, so we can get some more territory from them. Almost iron breach loaded stuff. Very good. Social alienation. We're doing pretty well already with education, so we can kind of wait on that. Uh, we need to do this. Screw propelled steamers, machine tools. Screw propelled steamers. So we need this one. So let's do oh, paddle steamers. Why not? Make us some steam transfer. Uh, just parliament. It seems altogether pleasing, therefore, that the order long established shall prevail throughout the centuries, throughout the eras, and today. A conservative member of the upper house has addressed parliament today with a lionizing speech to this nation and its manifold glories. Lose consciousness. Less militancy. Nice. This is really nice. Oh, look at that. A reform. There we go. Hey, good health care. Look at that. Even more popular. Wow, there's a lot of social support. And uh, I'll see you just in a little bit. All right, everyone, and we're back. So we have just got our Cassis Bell against Argentina, who is dying to the Chileans, who, in which the Chileans might go a little crazy and take Septentrional, which I assume is down here, Patagonia. So Chile is going to look really bad. That just means we've got to kill them off later. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, that, that's not going to look very good. Mm. But regardless, let's go and try to puppet Argentina and have a good time with them. Anyone want to join in America? No? Okay. Alright, now now we're back. And I'm going to put down our enemies. Very cool. And also we did get paddle steamers done. And we're doing screw propelled steamers just so we can do the decision. The, the, yeah. Decision, whatever we call it. Look at that. 663. Uh, uh, I don't think I'm going to really look at it. We're 5512, but that doesn't mean too much. An alliance with Italy. Uh, I mean, we do have European influence now. But an alliance with Italy. They're still... They're ninth in the world. That's not bad. I mean, the Ottoman Empire is struggling to hold on. They really are. But Italy is nowhere close to... Like, they're 200 score below these guys. So, uh, probably not. Wow, we, we took these guys up fast. Wow. Incident in Cuba. No incident in Cuba. What are you talking about? Fake news. Very good, very good. Oh, that's a lot of guys. And another reform? Cool. I mean, we still have good health here, which is good. What do, what do the people want? Acceptable minimum wage? Why do you want minimum wage so much? Well, actually, that's not too bad. I mean, safety regulations would be pretty good to do. Maintenance cost goes up, though. Just cost goes up. Benefits. Minimum wages go up their pensions. Alright, we'll go with minimum wage. There's nothing else really that I really care about. Maybe it's a bankruptcy. That might be good to get. Uh, anything else down here? Two per, per states. That's universal. Might not be bad for immigrant attraction. Would be really good, but man. All right, so we gotta watch out for this group here. So I want to keep our soldiers pretty close together, or you know, our armies. That'd be good. Let's see. Oh, we're fighting Peru as well. I forgot about that. Yeah, we're fighting Peru. Uh, don't really care, honestly. Don't really care at all. Argentina is a big fish here, so. Oh boy. Yunnan? Ooh, let's get over there first. No, stay. 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 You, come on. Alright, well. Argentina? You have way more infantry. You have no cannons, though. Oh, that's not good. And we just got off all those guys. Cool. If we attack them again, it might not go super well. They're going to Buenos Aires, which is fine. Come to Azul. And you guys come to Rosario. Do it again. Just gonna hang out and have a good time. Ooh, the police state. I love the police state. Oh, are they attacking us? It's fine, they can move around. The Arab Revolt. A wave of nationalism has begun to spread among the Mashriki, fueled by the resentment of Articular rule. Our governors in the region are understandably nervous as they report we can expect major rebellions in the coming years unless we are very careful. Self-governance? No, 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 no. Baudin has been removed from accepted cultures? Why? What? Arab revolt. What? No. I don't believe that. That's fake news. Fake news, man. Fake news. There we go. 
Wow, it came all the way over here too, huh? Oh, we got that army done, which is nice. Uh, put you guys down here. Loango. And actually, let's do it like this. There we go. Uh, recruitment. Roads? Sure, why not? Alright, so we got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Another army's very good half. A little expensive, but that's okay. How we look? Oh, hello! What the heck just spawned commies? Yeah, maybe trying to get RGG might be a bad idea. It, there's just so many commies here. Alright, so machine tools. I would assume that's under industry, right? Oh, so we need self automation It's an invention. Okay, that's fine. That's less than 6,000 points, so that's not too bad. Yeah. Argentina, you really let yourself go, man. Oh, my goodness. Got some different points. And I guess the UK went with Labor Party. That's not good for the military, but whatever. America kind of likes us. Very good. And there goes the commies. There you go. There you go. I can't believe I'm helping out Argentina put down the communists, but whatever. Hopefully when we pop at them, this doesn't happen again. But we'll see what happens, obviously. Wow, a lot less conservative support, which makes sense because we got a reform last time. We got quite a few reforms actually so far. Oh, we can make monitors. Oh, those are nice and all, but mm. Nobel Prize in Chemistry. One of our illustrious scientists have been awarded this year's Nobel Prize in Chemistry. A great honor for the study of chemistry in our nation. Awesome. We love chemicals in the Tukolor Empire. How much more score does anyone need to piece these guys out? That's my question. I don't know, Liberia. I'm not I'm not feeling Liberia too much. Steam frigates, cool. And next one is more industrial stuff. Trinitrotoline. Interesting, okay, cool. That's nice. Civil violence and high militancy in Bayou de Dongola has erupted into a statewide emergency as violent fighting and looting breaks out on the streets. The situation threatens to turn into a massacre unless something is done soon. Colonial police are standing by, ready to intervene in an attempt to restore order, but are holding back pending detailed instructions from the governor. Eventually. 10% of the population dies. Ooh, it's not bad, man. It's not bad. Hello, Chile. Don't even come down there. I will kill you too. Oh, they turned commies. Look at that. Oh, goodness. Yeah, no, I don't think we're going to tolerate communism. Oh, we can't do anything here. Well, we don't have to... Oh. The war leader? Wait, Peru? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that means we gotta take up... We literally have to take up Peru, then. God darn it. Hey, that's nice. Though. That's very nice. So, to build this, we got everything we need. We need machine tools invented. That's it. So, now, let's go ahead and keep doing this and get some... Oh, bolt action rifles would be nice. Let's get some more military logistics, though. Alright, so this is the case. We're coming up to Peru. Gosh darn Peruvians. Japan, you really want an alliance, don't you? Oh, look at oh look at that. Milton social down there, too. Nice. 75. You're still 12th in the world. I just can't say yes yet. I just can't. Beverages up a plus two percent. Not sure that's a good thing, but I guess it is. Two percent more beverages. That's like two percent more milk. Hmm. Nice. Brazil. Oh, Brazil. Colombia. Oh, Venezuela. Actually, Venezuela. What are you doing? Second Ecuadorian liberation of Peruvian. 
Pastaza? Ecuador wants that. I'm gonna say no, because I don't want Peru to do well. Alright. Brazil. Brazil. Hello, Brazil. Hey, you get ironclads, finally. I'm not gonna make them at this point. I just wanna make battleships or stuff like that, so. Yes. Excellent. New store? Great. We're making just a little bit of money here. Not a lot. Not really a lot at all. And Chile has commies too. Gosh darn. South America is filled with communists. Or people who want the communist government to succeed down here. Oof. You just run La Vega? Very nice. The war to end all wars. Become increasingly clear that we have to enter a new era of unprecedented warfare. The conflicts over time are no longer mere local issues, but instead reach every corner of the world. Considering the ever increasing stakes and the terrifying impact of these hostilities on the nations involved, there's no longer any need for restraint. From now on, Great War will allow a side that is clearly winning the ability to add even more war goals. Nice. You know what? Actually, there has not been too many crises or crises so far in the world, which is kind of interesting, huh? New store, cool. Don't even care at this point because we see that so often. At this point, I think I'll keep one of our, our Uruguayan armies in Bolivia or the Amazonas. Just because I think it'd be good at this point to do do so. Nice. Ica? Ica? Oh. Oh, they're up here too. Oh, my bad. I forgot we had a border with them. My bad. Right, let's keep an eye on this stuff. That army was not looking very good. Now, was it? Not bad. Give me more bureaucrats. Oh, wow. This is a very diverse area here. Magrebi, Ijua, Falba. Nice. Very good. And you guys will probably be next. You still run Lagos. Lagos. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, even more commies up here. Wow. Maybe the same commies. Maybe not. Maybe. Argentina's got quite a few mountains. Lima. Time to go to Lima. Actually, how are we doing over here? We're doing pretty darn well. Take that back. Very nice. Obviously, we want to be a piece of lower infamy even more, but eh, we gotta do what we gotta do here. Uh, keep going up here. So much more do we need to actually win this war? So we're 36% of the way there. They're minus 27%. Not bad. I mean, 85%. Oh my goodness. We basically have to siege down all of Peru. So be up. So be up. You'll get no more coast. Southern Serbia. Well, I'm glad I'm at war then. Ottomans versus the Russians. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, that makes sense. Ooh. Ooh. Actually, Ecuador is doing a really good job. Ecuador is kind of strong right now. Ooh, help take out these commies. No commies in our puppets. No. Oh, at least until we turn commies ourselves, maybe. A communist Tukular Empire. Now, that flag sounds interesting, but it's probably sort of generico or generic just because, you know, they'll probably just put the hammer and sickle on here. But we'll see what happens. Oh, we need, we got to get the capital back, too. Nice. There we go. Military reductionism, we gotta get that gas attack. It's only 17,000 points, 17.4 thousand, that's all. Canned food reduction, plus 20... Wow, Chile, whoa, that's a lot more commies than I thought you had. All right, Honduras, if you really want to be in our sphere, all right, whatever. They're in the UK sphere, actually. Central American, uh, cool. Honestly, I really don't want you in with us. Sorry guys, it is what it is. Nothing personal, just business. How come down there? Alright, so how is it? How are we doing up here? We're doing well, I'd say. Cool. Oh, elections? Oh god, no. People can vote in my country? Yep, yeah, we gave them the right to vote. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's not a good thing, but happy 1906. Hey, you want peace? Mm, they're still at war with Chile. I want to see Chile peace out first. Oh, the white piece. That sucks. And besides, if we... 
I didn't want to get in the crisis anyways, so. Cusco. Emperor's new groove, what? Happy February! Alright, UK, you, you, oh, you went back to the Liberals. You were part of the Labour Party, but no longer. America kind of likes us. Russia kind of like, eh. They still have even, oh, they're reactionaries now. Well, that makes sense, they are commies, so. Come on, peace out with Chile first. Come on, peace, 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 peace. Suppress this. I don't care where it is. We're going to go with state capitalism because we love state capitalism. Let's go ahead and come down here. Hey, steamer shipyards, steamer convoys, not bad. Should probably get rid of a clip a clip of transports, but hey, that's just me. Or is it? No. Come on, Chile, give up. Because that means, I, do we go to war with them if we take Argentina as a puppet? Sabotage. I don't know. We should try that out. We should figure that out. Denounce profiteering of these fat cats. Might as well. And you guys have commies too. You know, we'll, we'll try it. I like jingoism a lot. Let's go ahead and peace them out. And if we have to go to war and kill off Chile, who wants us under them, who wants their territory, so be it. So, they're a puppet, and they're still fighting Chile. No, they're not. No, they're not. Oh, look at that. They changed their flag now. They're reactionaries, which is totally fine with me. You guys stay up here. That'll be good. You guys... How much score? Hang out in the Amazons. It's kind of hot, I know, but whatever. And you guys come down here, and you guys help put down enemies. There you go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Lower that. And then lower that. But we'll help our uh, ally out with their communist rebellions. And actually, since Chile is having a few rebellions, I'll probably switch to communists themselves. And then maybe we can put them under us as well. Not a bad idea. I would say so myself. Alright, so how do we get machine tools? 6% chance. Wow, minus 10%. Holy cow. There's nothing else we can do to help get that unlocked. So be it. Ooh. Fabric fabric production up. Very good. Very good. We gotta check on, on our other armies. We have a lot of potential for a bigger navy, but, you know. I'll go with moralism, because why not? Oh, they actually got more score there. More soldiers. You know, I'm just gonna leave you in the capital for now. I think that'd be, probably just be best. You guys come down to Montevideo. Anything else down here? No. Oh, you guys are actually suffering. Uh, let's see. Come on down to here then. Colonia. That's fine. Eastor. Nice. Looking a little better. Antioquia. Is that the Confederate? No, that's South America. Hmm. Maybe. Um. I mean, I prefer them under us, but why not? Let's start sphering them. Anyone in the world? Hey, 6-6. Six, six. Okay, could be better, could be worse. How's the military production going? Not great right now, but that's alright. Bureaucrats are looking okay. So who's next on the docket? No one's at war yet. No one wants to kill other people off. What are you talking about? What? Under us. I just want you in my sphere, man. I'll be honest. Ah, is it Columbia time? Oh, the it's Columbia time. Nice. Yep, the communist Native American miner. Okay. Well, oh, God dang it, Andres. Oh crap! You know what? No. If you break away from us, then we probably can get a war goal on you guys. So that's not bad then. We need better roads too. We need so many better things. Oh my goodness! Hey, we've got machine tools. Look at that. Awesome. Build the Panama Canal. So, proposals for a canal across Panama Isthmus probably dates back to the first discovery of this area. Nowhere is the strip of land that unites the North and South America continents thinner than here, and with the aid of modern engineering, we can shorten the travel times between the Atlantic and the Pacific by several days by building it. it can take a while to build, and likely cost between two to six million pounds. That's alright. Nice. 
Let's see, today we'll start building the canal to connect them to both oceans. Our engineers are ready and a series of surveys of the area of the canal. We're done. The only thing left to do before we start construction is to find the budget of the Colossal Project. This promises to be one of the most massive undertakings and with fish it will be, without a doubt, one of the biggest human achievements for decades to come. Invest the minimum of the smallest amount possible. We're going to go all in. I'm going to go all the way in. We need a lot of money for this. Hey, we can make a state here in Marrakesh. I love it. Yes. Oh, it's a free state? Darn. Hey, look at this. African farms are mine. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Awesome. And I will see you back in just a little bit again. All right, everyone. And we're back. And as you can see, we would like to take a little bit more of like, Colombian territory. Now, right now, we need to go in and do this. Oh, I guess I was in debt a little bit. Oh, that is not good. That is very not good. Eh, whatever. It is what it is. We got to deal with whatever we got. Yeah, I really don't like debt. But also... Uh, this isn't perfect infamy. I did get found out eventually, and I had to uh, take one point of infamy. Literally 1.0. I figured, you know what? It's only one point. Whatever. Let's go ahead and just get through it. Hey, we're done with our tariffs. Good. I mean, done with our debt, which is awesome. Uh, the Political Reform Club. Let's see. A nationwide political reform club is formed in the Tukular Empire. The club has made its agenda to reform the Tukular voting system, and they've initially been able to gain a fair amount of political traction in the public debate. The club wants to see a Jeffersonian voting system replaced with one of more proportional representation. The club agrees that a proportional representation allows for a fair and more balanced representation for the totality of our population, rather than for arbitrary political voting circles. With the amount of traction the club has been able to garner, we would be hard-pressed if we gave it no attention. On the other hand, reform might not be on our agenda right now. Uh, that's fine, I don't really care. That's one of the things that doesn't really bother me too much. Not really interested in it at the moment, but it might interest me later on. Also, Liberia, I think, broke free, so I think we'll probably go to war with them next. And I made sure that Argentina has no more rebels, even though they went socialist, which is, you know, whatever. If they want to be socialist, let them be socialist as long as they're under us. That is the most important thing, as give it just one more month so we can get our guys a little bit more morale and then invade Bogota again. Very good. Tunisia, what might we do? Let's go ahead and take these guys out. Hopefully no one else intervenes, but then again, I don't think anyone really likes commies in this world for now, so. Oh. Oh, they're going to the Heart of Darkness, and it was only when I saw how they treated them that I. There was this one child, I remember them well, eight, nine maybe. They had all quotas for how much to pick each day, and that one day he didn't fulfill his, don't ask me why, I... His hands! Tukula Empire is in shock, as a major European newspaper published a report today on the conditions of one of our colonies. Brutal mistreatment of natives, corporal punishment, and repeated instances of bodily mu mutilation have all been established means of maintaining the colonial order in the colony, in mines, and on plantations, which have all been kept outside the influence of the colonial office through an elaborate system of bribes and corruption. Apologies for nothing. Uh, we accept full responsibility for the wrongs committed. Yeah, I'm going to do that one just because it's less infamy. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't need hands? What are you talking about? Oh, hello. Oh, we have some rebels down here too. Alright, oh, whatever. Cool, I'm gonna have you guys come down here and actually help us put these guys down. And once you're actually down there, ooh, fastest rebel organization came plus 25%. Paramilitary groups. I hope we don't need too much to yeah, get this little area, but whatever. New store? Great! We still don't have a lot of money because we're doing the Panama Canal stuff. To oh, yeah, please come to Tunja, see what happens. Ooh, I'm gonna go to the Pogata then, just in case first. There we go. Yeah, attacking at this point in the game, not a smart idea for anybody. Oh, and they're going to just get butchered here. That might be... No, it's only 4.1 score. That's not enough for us to actually take the territory. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, how many soldiers they've left? So quite a few. Uh, don't do that. Just come down there then. It's fine. They don't have a lot of morale, but it's fine. Whatever. No, Honduras. I'm sorry, but no. Suppress whatever it is in Kakua. Nah, Colombia doesn't need this. Nah, they don't need it. No, 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 no. All right. Rebellion or ally. The Honduran government has been toppled, and rebels blame Tukular influence as one of the primary causes of the old regime's corruption. We have lost our influence in Honduras, and as a result, the only question remains whether we should press it by force. They're not worth it. They're really not worth it. I mean, I was expecting them to do that, so now they're completely out of anyone's sphere. No alliance, nothing like that, which is good. Serbia. Hmm. Mm, nah, mm, I'd, ra I'd rather not. Yep, we got that back. They took back their tile. Whatever. Whatever. But we, we're working on two other tiles at the same time, so. Intervene eventually when there's a little bit of rebellious 
group here, so be it, whatever. And we kill them off super quickly. We might have to reform this army sabotage. You mean you fired someone? Rich Strata. Oh, we did the other one last time, so we'll do this one. You really wanted to die, didn't you guys? And we're actually working on bolt after action rifles as well. That's not too bad. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 hold on. Ooh, we get this until 1909, so that's more prestige, or just get more prestige right now. I want to get more prestige right now. Uh, what the heck? Wait, why do we peace out? Oh, we got it. Did we? No. Oh, Brazil got that. Oh, that's dumb. That's really stupid. Why do they get that? Hmm, that's not cool. That's really not cool at all. Actually, yeah, I'm going to keep those armies there. You guys are looking re... Yeah, actually, you were supposed to be the army that was I was building over here, so you guys come over there then. I don't do that. You guys do that. That'd be better. Yeah, you don't need more soldiers. Holy cow. And you guys do that too. So be it. Whatever. That was not great, but whatever. All right, so bank of these guys. Do that. Do that again. We're going to keep about half... half excuse me. Halfies. In Liberia. Oh, come on. They're in this sphere. Oh, god dang it. This is what I really wanted to do all along. Well, I'll see you just a little bit once again. All right, everyone, here we are. But we're not going to go to war with Honduras because every time I tried to, America and UK got in, got involved, so I didn't want to fight them just yet. And I tried to go to war with Oman, but then the UK got involved again. But regardless, I think we'll end today's episode here. We've spent long enough. Regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. We've got Gas Attack, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow when hopefully we probably get into another war because we are doing very well on our military. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.